Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts Beta Blind. We're attacking a uh, UFO carrier which we shot down and uh, we are testing out our new addition to the uh, team here, Odin, the hover tank. A scimitar tank I think? And it's pretty brilliant. It can fly over obstacles, no problem. Uh, and this is the laser cannon because I forgot to put the Mac cannon on, and it's already amazing. It does, it's very, quite accurate, actually. And it does a lot of damage. No. Hello, no one here, good. Right, next. Mefatu, watch your ears. Bloody hell. Uh, next, Jazdemol. Damn it. And we have Agent Shuji. Who needs to be extremely careful, because he's uh, rather hurt. Calliopen. Oh my god, stop over the loudness, jeez. Max Mania. Uh. Max Mania, please don't you dare do reaction fire in close quarters. I would load up the uh, stun rockets, but there's no point in using them on these guys. I guess if we got some Haridans, maybe, but not on these guys. Definitely not. No, I caught the private moving. No, that was too loud. Corporal private creepers. I ears are ringing now. It is probably... Oh, these guys are here in the line of fire. That's not the best idea, but it's gonna have to do. The aliens know our every move, though. All right. Let's proceed. No, uh, no one here. Chaz Davis, okay. No, I'm moving forward. No. No. Alright. Chaz Davis, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Well, that's not careful. That's ballsy, I guess. Right, there's no one here. Good. Uh, Agent Shuji. Lord Squirrel. You can be over here, because you've got high reactions with that uh, carbine. Then we have Corporal Mefatu, Jezdemil Caster. Actually, you can move. No, nope, you can't. Oh, gotta be careful over here, Jezdemil. No one there. Alright. But let's, let's, you know, take it easy. We're, we're not in a huge hurry. Alright. And Alecto is lagging behind, because he had to reload. <laughs> Jesus. And Odin. Not even dent. Not even a dent on Odin. I think it got hit a few times, right? With a, with a what, alien assault rifle or battle rifle? Well, it's pretty darn impressive. Alright, battle bunny. You're on point. Careful. Excellent. No one here. Uh, Kelly open. Let's go with the carbine. Let's just double check. There's no one here. Excellent. There's no one here. Okay, everyone at the ready then. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I, I don't need that many soldiers, but, you know, just to be on the safe side. And the turn. And now they're gonna pop in here with a plasma cannon and just shoot everyone, probably. No? Good. Fine. Okay. Private Lord Squirrel. Ah, loud. Okay, the same stuff as usual. Ah, loud. Okay, Jezimal will be over here. Agent Shuji will be very careful with you. You'll be mostly grenades and stuff, I guess. And even grenades are very dangerous. Oh, we can't have you here in the corner. Kelly open. Uh, Max Mania, I want you over here so you can shoot inside, but gotta be so careful with that one. Electo. That is genuinely hurting my ears now. It's so bloody loud. 
Chaz Davis, can I just press Ctrl S? No. <laughs> Would be nice to just shut off the, uh, the bloody screaming. Uh, Chaz Davis, I'm I'm wary of placing Chaz Davis in the line of fire because he's a very good seasoned soldier. Uh, Private Creeper. Oh, my ears, watch it. La 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 la. Oh, God. Horrible. Private Mefatu. La 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 la. Oh, my ears. They, they are ringing. All right. Bring it on, aliens. Actually, don't, because we'll be bringing it on. Okay. Cor careful now. There's a Herod in there. That's it? Is that the leader here? Huh. Well, how about we throw this, but it's gonna start shooting at us. That's the problem. Corporal Mifata, do you feel lucky? How about, actually... If we throw- well, no, 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 no. If we throw a smoke grenade here first, that could work. Throw a smoke grenade here. Why is this a 0% hit? What? Do you have to stand up? No? Okay, what happens? No, that's a perfect hit. Uh-oh, and, and he shoots anyway. But that's good. And now, we can throw these grenades over there. There we go. Excellent. Bon appetit! Uh, well, we can't actually throw this one. Battle Bunny has some, so we can move away. Have at it! Mm-mm! Perfect throw! Not bad, Battle Bunny, not bad. You don't have any more, but that's fine. Let's close the doors and check out this area, Cleopen. Oh, there's another one here, and you've got the perfect weapon for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, maybe this was the officer. But I'm not sure you can actually capture these alive. So, let's just wait for now. Ah, there he goes. That should be it, I think. <laughs> uh, alien elite, alien officer corpse. Okay, so there were no leaders. Yeah, okay. It's just destroyed. Yeah, oh well, they're all destroyed. Uh, carrier data core destroyed. <laughs> Items, alien fusion reactor, alien alloys, alenium. Only eight alenium. That's not very good, but it was, a, it was a fairly good mission. Agent Shuji got quite hurt, but that's all right. 13 days. Jasnamal Castor is not even leveling up anymore. She's got everything at maximum, apparently. Chaz Davis is injured for seven days, and Lord Squirrel has been promoted to sergeant. Excellent. And Battle Bunny the fourth has gotten the service medal. Participation in ten combat missions. Alright, we've still got stuff around. We've got an alien base here. We've got various UFO. These guys have no fuel left, right? Yeah, 30% fuel. Um, what is this? This is a battleship. Which we have... Yeah, two battleships. We have no chances of getting these. And hopefully they're not going to... They're gonna, not going to shoot my uh, dropship down. And this is another battleship. We could get this UFO 230. If we were lucky. Of course, if our interceptor was anywhere near ready, which it is not. And it's already disappeared, so that's good. Right, leave Kadzi alone! Okay, average relations, that's pretty good. Good, good, excellent, excellent, superb. Good, poor. Okay, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And we've uh, closed the um, financing gap. As you can see, we're only 170 sort of thousand in the minus, so that's good. Um, the force cost is changes going down a little bit. But that's all right, because we're going to take this base out. And we'll take Odin with us. Chaz Davis needs to get his health up. I want some more... Smoke grenades, because you can definitely carry them. More of these as well, maybe. Yeah. Look at this. You can carry a lot. Kelly Open. You've got these, but none of these. There. Yeah, just have it here. There we go. 
Jasmine Caster has all the grenades she needs, I think. Well, she, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Rocketeer. Yeah, you mostly need these smoke grenades, to be honest. Heavy weapons, you can't even throw grenades. Rifleman. There. Actually, you need a smoke grenade. Heavy weapons. Another rifleman. Okay, Lord Squirrel. Okay. We need another person to come with us. Major Samak, or I can take... Yeah, let's take Lieutenant Felix. Rifleman. There we go. On to Kazi, please. Where are you? Felix. Let's take a couple of things away here. Don't really need them. Maybe like this. You need a smoke grenade, just to be sure. Okay, and these people are fairly... Okay. Shield. Ooh, that's quite hurt, yeah. Let's have you all on base defense. I do believe we have enough... No. Insufficient equipment. Darn it. Yeah. Okay. Let's just have some laser weaponry then. And lots of grenades, of course. You too. Oh, no more laser weapons. Brilliant. Well, never mind then. Just have some... Uh, Actually, yeah, I could give everyone rocket launchers. Because the, this is the only weapon that uses... That, that is always available, no matter the technology. And it always gets upgraded for free. I should actually do that. There you go. 24 time units. <laughs> that's quite bad, but that's alright for now. Okay, so... We are sort of ready. I think I'm going to wait a little bit until I actually go and attack that base. Oh, oh, ooh. That's like a stealth bomber. The X100, uh, X-120 Fury Interceptor is the ultimate weapon in the battle for our skies. It is an unmanned craft. Oh. With virtually unlimited range that can fly so high and so fast that no UFO ha has hope of outrunning it, let alone intercepting it. It can travel at Mach 8, allowing it to reach any point in the world in under two hours. It carries a single super heavy singularity torpedo in each mission. What the hell? The Fury was influenced by the allegedly secret SR-71 Blackbird, which is almost invulnerable to conventional technology due to its impressive speed and service ceiling. Not that our organization would have much trouble dealing with them. The design has been evolved and enhanced, not least by removing the pilot and the equipment required to keep him alive. An autonomous flight computer tracks sensor data against mission parameters, adjusting its behavior to ensure the mission is compared as quickly, uh, completed as quickly and as safely as possible. The engines are a three-stage turbojet ramjet scramjet design, where each stage speeds the craft to the point at which the following stage can kick in. So let's see. A turbojet for the beginning, then a ramjet... What, what's a scramjet again? Is that like a rocket? Because the turbojet basically works on, on, you know, it's a turbo engine, uh, turbine. The ramjet works based on speed. You have to have speed for the ramjet because it rams the air in. Uh, the scramjet, I'm not sure what it is exactly. Oh, well. The scramjets uh, engage at Mach 4 and each produce 75,000 pounds of thrust. <laughs> yeah. We should probably talk in Newtons. Uh, rapidly accelerating the Fury to Mach 8. At these speeds, air resistance heats the surface of the craft to 4,000 degrees Celsius. Ordinarily impossible to sustain without a spacecraft-style ablative coating that re requires a replacement after every flight. However, hardened alien alloys have proved more than capable of resisting that sort of temperature indefinitely, allowing the Fury to travel so quickly that it is entirely immune to damage from enemy UFOs. <laughs> What? So I don't even have to fight them? Unfortunately, as weapons are also needed to be designed specifically for hypersonic launch, the speed of the craft also limits the weapons that can be carried to just one, the Super Heavy Singularity Torpedo. Unsurprisingly, the power requirements for these monstrous engine and, and the highly advanced flight computer are enormous. A Singularity core is the only viable power source, so each Fury built will require us to capture one from an extraterrestrial capital ship. Wait a second. Why are you using turbojets and ramjets and scramjets then if you have, have this unlimited um, singularity core and energy? Huh. Okay. Fine. Oh, oh, singularity torpedo. Oh, look at it. 
The Singularity Torpedo is the most destructive weapon mankind has ever created. It produces a perfectly spherical release of energy that will instantly reduce anything within 5 kilometers to its constituent atoms. Do not expect to recover anything from alien craft destroyed by this weapon. Bloody hell! As it has been designed specifically for hypersonic launch, it may only be carried by our X-120 Fury Interceptor. The destructive power of the weapon is drawn from the practically limitless energy held within the Singularity Core. The looping particle field that stabilizes the Singularity can be replaced, uh, or replicated and used as a method of storage, capturing energy from when connected to the core and releasing it when the loop is later broken. A charged loop can thus be used as a warhead on a torpedo, containing so much energy that it will utterly annihilate anything caught in the blast radius. It has actually been necessary to develop a method of using part of the discharge to generate larger secondary field that uh, artificially limits the size of the explosion. Without it, there would be drastically significant chance of the detonation destroying our entire planet. Um, are we sure this one is safe, guys? The rest of the torpedo is relatively straightforward design. The main propulsion unit employs a scramjet, which allows roughly 30 seconds of flight at speeds reaching Mach 15. This not only allows it to be launched by a fury traveling at hypersonic speed, but actually necessitates it. A scramjet can only generate thrust when it is sucking in air traveling at Mach 4 or higher, a speed that our more conventional interceptors simply cannot achieve. A single singularity core can be turned into three singularity torpedoes. Use them sparingly. Ugh. So I actually have to use singularity cores to make them. Ugh, that is... yeah... hmm... Okay, let's do... Alien leader interrogation, or let's do the assault boat first. I want to have a, a faster dropship. Okay, hit me. Hit me how much to, uh, to make it. <clears throat> 600,000. And I only have one singularity core. Uh, I don't even where have one. 600,000 and 60 alenium. That is ridiculous. Well, I will need more marauders, I think, but... Uh. Okay, so it's not a be-all, end-all, because you do need singularity cores, okay. Oh, and you actually need to make torpedoes now. Required none. I thought I needed singularity cores for this. Huh, okay. Well, first of all, I do need more marauders, to be completely and brutally honest. However, what is my alenium storage? 85, not great. It is not great. I will need... Oh yeah, first of all, before I forget, Odin, you need the Mac Railgun. Ooh, that looks cool. Alright, so... F I could make another one. They don't have any production here, right? I mean, capabilities. Fury Singularity Torpedo, yes. Uh, let's see, they don't have any production here, no. But I want another Marauder, because with two, I think you can actually take down battleships, if I'm not mistaken. And that would be pretty nice. So... I'm going to take 40 alenium and send it to this base over here. Central American. Because they don't have anything to do at the moment. There, transfer. And over here, we will start making more weapons, soldier weapons. <clears throat> Mag rifles, to be specific. Precision Mag Storm, 240! Bloody hell. It's expensive. 320,000. That's... Ugh. Right, let's try it like this. And the alenium is not there yet, right? Of course not. Yeah, it's not there yet. Where's my music? Damn it. Well, I have to reload to get the music back. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And next time we will probably attack the alien base. Bye-bye.